Welcome to Practice Update. I'm here with Dr. Igor Puzanov, and uh, I would love to discuss uh, TVEC and how you use it in your practice. You were one of the people who developed this drug, and it seems to be a very promising and very novel therapy. So how do you approach TVEC when it comes to your patients? So uh, as you mentioned, you know, I have been using TVEC since 2009 on the clinical trials. It's now FDA approved for patients with unresectable stage 3B, 3C, and 4A melanoma, regardless of the BRAF mutation status. Um, when I uh, consider TVEC, I consider the patient. You know, typically the patient I use TVEC for would be the patient who has, uh, you know, these characteristics and may eventually have some comorbidities, potentially an older, frail patient with multiple tumors on their arms or legs, you know, which uh, would potentially be a subject to severe side effects from anti-PD-1 checkpoint inhibitor and may benefit from TVEC, uh, remind you of the old Optim data with about 11% having complete response with injectable TVEC alone and overall 26% response rate and 16 of that durable, meaning more than six months. And um, uh, so that would be the patient I use it for. We organize our practice such that one day a week, my nurse practitioner actually uh, invites all the TVEC patients at once. Uh, we actually uh, schedule them one by one by one, so you actually uh, can inject them in a very time efficient fashion as we are preparing one patient, the other one is coming in, then you inject one, then you inject the second, then third, the fourth, the fifth, we usually have five or six patients every week for that uh, particular treatment. Uh, the one thing I would also mention now with the ipilimumab and the TVAC, uh, study we did at the phase two randomized trial, NCCN included that combination in their guidelines for patients who progressed on one or two lines of therapy uh, with a combination with the ipilimumab and TVAC. And I'm presenting a uh, update, a three-year update showing that actually those responses with the combination are more uh, durable and mm -hmm. they are also uh, more numerous. Uh, okay. While with ipilimumab alone, we have about 15% of responses. With TVEC, we had double of that, and they are all durable three years later. Very different from combination, let's say, with IDO inhibitor. Okay. And for a community oncologist who may never have used this drug, uh, I understand you inject it straight into the lesion, but uh, is there any other complicating factor that somebody needs to be trained on uh, to utilize the therapy? So you always have to train on anything you do. Uh, I would also urge to uh, try to collaborate with somebody who is a TVEC high-end user, for example, you know, uh, myself or other, uh, you know, doctors who helped develop it, you know, at MD Anderson and elsewhere, because we have some best practices we will be happy to share with uh, your viewers. And, um, uh, the practical consideration is that you have to store TVEC in minus 80 degrees Celsius. You have to have a special freezer. You have to de defrost it, you know, before. And of course, it's a modified virus. You have to dispose of it in a, a particular fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, for the injection itself, uh, it is a typical fen-like uh, injection. And uh, what I would always tell people when you inject TVEC into the tumor, always come with just one injection point because otherwise the TVEC may leak if you do multiple injections into one tumor. That's a really good consideration. And, and, and very briefly, I, I believe for much of the patient selection that you talked about, it was for frontline therapy. Is there a role for TVEC in second or third line uh, settings? There is, actually, we are combining practice data from multiple centers and uh, we'll be presenting and presented some of the data already. And uh, it looks like actually even in second and third line setting, the data is very similar. So it looks like there will be, uh, there will be responses regardless of the line of uh, therapy. And we will be happy to supply those data to your interested readers as well. We look forward to that. Thank you so much. Thank you.